Funko f***ed up! Let's talk about it! Welcome to the gas and gas. We're glad you're there, Sai. You get the right time. We got an all time line. Uncle's hot toys and John don't mind. Stick around, like, comment, and be sure to subscribe because life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. And remember, if you tell it all, we are together. Yes. Did they make more Venom and Carnage Funko Pops? No, they didn't, thank God. Did they make another Machine Gun Kelly Funko Pop? No, they didn't do that. Another Diamond Chase Eeyore no! Funko Pop? No, 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 no. <laughs> How about more Castaway Pops to sit on Target shelf? No, no, no more Tom Hanks bullshit. No, they fucked up the Disney castle, Heather. What did they do? Well, for the Walt Disney World 50th anniversary, they used the castle for Disneyland. Well, Disneyland is 66 years old. So maybe they can change the box to say 66th anniversary Walt Disney Land. Think smarter, not harder. No, they can't do that because they did a whole special paint job on the castle. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So let me get this straight. They molded the castle from Disneyland. Correct. But they used the colors from Disney World. You got it. You know, this is where Funko could use a customizer like Funko Boss to go in mm, and repaint all uh, of their castles and boxes. Nah, that's a tough, this is a tough topic, Heather. I don't know if we... I don't know if we're ready for this or not. So what happened? Did Funko think we wouldn't notice? Because we did. Or at least somebody did. I didn't. I, I didn't. Either. I would have never noticed. Mm -hmm. Who gives a shit? It's a castle with Mickey Mouse. I mean, come on. It's fun. There's a mouse. They should have done a new mold for a new castle for Disney World. I'm pretty sure they were like, listen, let's save a couple bucks. Just use the same castle. No one's going to notice. Just paint it up right, put a Mickey Mouse in there, give him a nice looking outfit that goes with 50th anniversary. They'll never notice. F it. Or maybe they thought, why the f would they have two different castles in the two different places? Because shouldn't Cinderella's castle be the same in Disney World and Disneyland? Why does no. it look different? One Cinderella's castle and one is Sleeping Beauty's castle. How dare you? I had no idea. It's Disney. You're telling me you don't know this sh I've never even been to California, let alone Disneyland. You grew up with Disney princesses? Don't you know the difference between the castles? What, are you some kind of idiot? Yes. Why do you have to put me on the spot like that? So there are two different versions of this castle, but I can tell that the castle that is common is the same castle that is a special Disney exclusive. The only difference is the Mickey Mouses. There's a gold Mickey Mouse that comes with the exclusive edition. Are they Mickey Mouses or Mickey Mice? Mickey, Mickey, okay, yes, Mickey Mice. Although I do like both of these Mickey Mouse Funko Pops, wouldn't it have been cool to have the common with a gold Mickey Mouse and the special Disney exclusive come with Walt Disney himself, but in gold? We've never gotten him like that before. The man and his castle. What they should have done is give us a statue of Walt Disney and Mickey Mouse together. They just didn't want to spend the big bucks for a new castle, Heather. We got to get over it. We got to get over this hump. I don't think the Disney fans will be able to get over it though. Disney fans are hardcore. People aren't going to let me live it down in the comments that I didn't realize that one was Sleeping Beauty's castle and one was Cinderella's castle. <laughs> you are so by the way, are you sure about that? Are you sure it wasn't like someone else's castle? Are you like positive that it's Sleeping Beauty's castle? Cause they're gonna come after you too. Heather, the only way to go about this is be very confident, act like we know things, and then they'll believe everything that we're saying. Cinderella's castle is in both places, but it looks different. I don't know why, what were they thinking? Man, they're really trying to tear Funko apart. I mean, they just did the wrong castle with the right paint job, give them a Great. We all know the Sleeping Beauty castles at Walt Disney World. Wait, I thought that was at Walt Disneyland. Fuck! So if you're a hardcore Disney fan, this might be where you draw the line. You might say, I'm not buying these stupid castles. They're not right. And I'm not going to take it. But these are the only castles you're going to get. So eat it, mother f You're going to have to buy them. If you're a big Disney fan, this is all you got. Guys, don't forget, head over to patreon.com slash castcast to find out all the ways that you can support the channel. Yes, you, my friend, can support the channel in very big ways. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our patrons. In this video, we like to shout out to Tyler C., Ryan Guerrero, Shroot Farm Pops, Kaz Brooks, Pablo Perez, Sean Neal, Angel and Greg Gast, Robert Offley, Craig Matthews, and Aaron Manuel. 
Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons from Patreon. We're done talking about all that castle drama. We don't need castle drama, Heather. I want to talk more about the Machine Gun Kelly drama. I don't want to talk about that. I hated that. And Slipknot and Eminem. I don't want to talk about that. No. Man, Slipknot really showed him. They were like, yeah, we're old, but f*** you, Machine Gun Kelly. And Machine Gun Kelly's like, oh, well, at least I'm not wearing a weird mask. Well, you can't change your f stupid face, all right, anyway, we have some boxes to unbox. We got something from our good friend, Sean Neal, who is a Funko producer at Funko Games. He sent us a bunch more of the Battle World stuff, and I want to unbox that, and then... We have more Battle World stuff? Yes. Oh, Sean, I'm excited. Okay, what are we waiting for? Come on. Yeah, and then I have something really cool to unbox, but come on, Battle World. Let's go. Let's go! I hope you No, let me read it. You don't know how to read Howdy, it. Howdy, friends! Just, just wanted, wanted to say, to say thank, thank you, you and some here's some I've stuff gathered I've gathered see. together for you. Okay. There are some this. games, some masks, some pins, and of course, a couple new battle balls so Max can continue to build his collection or can give to a friend to give them hooked. I also threw in the Goonies game that I mentioned on the live stream. It's more of a board game night kind of game, and there are lots of how to play videos as well but I really just wanted you to see how cool it is. We were out of the Back to the Future game, but maybe that'll be coming for Christmas. Jeez, he spoils Heather, us. I am passing along to you my Negan and Zombie Mini Meat I got years back as well. I think you're probably one of the only people I know that will appreciate them. Also, I figured you'd appreciate the Chase Zombie Venom I pulled during the stream. Thanks for having me on and letting me talk way too much. I appreciate you all so much, Sean. Ooh. Something Wild Star Wars and Something Wild Mandalorian. We've actually talked a lot of shit about these games. I can't yeah. wait to play, yeah. Funko Game Masks. That's fancy. The Rocketeer pins. Oh, cute. <gasps> it's Venom, the one he pulled the other day. The zombie chase one. And there's his card. Never Say Die. Yeah, oh, never say die. I can't wait to play this. Hold I on. know these are for Max, but I want to bust these motherfuckers open. Okay, so this one has Valkyrie. Yes, look! Oh, it's a rocket. A rocket. And it's like an infinity stone one. Here's wow, Falcon. that's awesome. We got a Falcon. Twilight rocket. It's not infinity rocket, Twilight rocket. You're gonna love this one. Oh, nice. Green Goblin. We got a Green Goblin. That's cool. Look at all these guys. If you're not playing Battle Worlds or you're not like checking it out, you should totally check it out. It's a great game. And also that's these minifigures are- That's Iron Goblin. Iron Goblin, oh that's cool. He has Iron Determination, so when Iron Goblin misses an attack, he makes a free attack. But as I was saying, you should totally check the game out if you haven't already. You can buy these little battle balls, which have, what, two characters in each battle ball, and you actually can play by yourself. You don't need other people to play with you, and it's a really easy game to play. So go and check it out. Search how to play on YouTube. That's how we figured it out, and it's really, really simple. I know if I can play it, you can play it. Oh, nice. It's a Negan and a thug zombie. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that. My really good friend Alex sent me something that I have wanted since the day I saw it. And I got online the second it went up for sale and I missed it. And then there was a restock and I missed that too because I, know, I suck. Yeah. He got me the Skull Glow dumpster fire. It glows? Yeah, it glows. What? Yeah. I didn't know it glows. Oh, it smells like farts in here. It has like the fart glow smell. Wow, look at him. He's awesome. Wow, that's even cooler in person. Can we turn the lights off? Yeah, for sure. Whoa. Oh, that's awesome. That's a really cool piece. Yes. Oh, I am so excited to have this. Guys, what do you think about all the stuff we unboxed here? All the Battle World stuff? How about the Goonies game from our good friend Sean Neal? How about something wild? Let us know what you think about all of this hey, and wait. more. Hey, wait. What about the Walt Disney World and Disneyland Castle? That's only Cinderella's Castle. Why did they do Cinderella's Castle different in both places? And how about these awesome pins? Let us know all that and more in the comment section down below. Head on over to 7 Bucks a Pop every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday for their big drops. 7 bucks a pop .com. All right, guys. That time again. Remember, as always, we are together, guys. We'll catch you next time. Bye. Thank you.